Monday night, 23 members of county assembly in Kirinyaga County spent the night on the county assembly coaches and floor ahead of Tuesday motion. The MCAs who had appended their signatures to the impeachment motion had to switch off their phones to wade away any form of persuasion. Tuesday, the D-Day was drama packed. <laughs> Nominated MCA Lucy Njeri and Karumandi Ward MCA Anthony Munene, ardent supporters of the Kirinyaga County Chief, were kicked out of the assembly after they allegedly became unruly and attempted to disrupt the proceedings. I want the oh, no. of the Who said I'm done? Oh, no. Kirinyaga County Assembly Speaker Anthony Gathumbi ordered the two to leave the assembly after ruling the duo were out of order. A command that the two would not bow to and instead stayed put. This prompted the sergeant at arms to forcefully eject the two MCAs out of the assembly. <laughs> Mutira Ward MCA David Kenyo Wangui thereafter moved the motion that sealed the fate of the governor. Mr. Speaker, when the governor oversees imprudent expenditures on the public resources, when the governor herself accrues benefits that go to her personal account, Mr. Speaker, and when we do our own police or our own investigation, we realize that the governor does not travel. The aggrieved MCAs accused Waiguru of gross violation of the constitution abuse of office and gross misconduct. Mr. Speaker, figures amounting to 10 million. Whereas, Mr. Speaker, our roads are in deplorable state. Go to the hospitals, they are not drugs, Mr. Speaker. There are structures that are in that were started in the previous regime, Mr. Speaker, and they are not being implemented. The governor, however, had the backing of four MCAs, while four others failed to show up at the house. Honourable members, I can therefore confirm that the vote has met the two thirds requirement to decide on this question. There is have it. Reacting to the impeachment in a statement where Guru dismisses the allegations as baseless and waste of time, where Guru says she obtained court order from the High Court stopping any proceedings by the Assembly on the impeachment motion until numerous issues raised with the court were determined, warning that she will not be bullied. The Jubilee Party does not condone uh, corruption. The President, who is the party, does not condone, condone uh, corruption. And we are just calling out our, our oversight duties. The impeachment motion and accompanying signatures will now be forwarded to the Senate that will decide to either adopt or reject the impeachment motion. The Kirinyaga governor becomes the seventh to face impeachment since the advent of devolution, only months after Kiambu governor Ferdinand Waititi was kicked out. Among those who were once impeached by their county assemblies include Martin Wambora of Embu, Professor Paul Chepkoni of Kericho, Mwangi Wairia of Moranga, the late Nderitu Gashagwar of Nyeri and Granton Samboja of Titataveta. But it was Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu whose fate was completely sealed by the Senate. As focus now shifts to the Senate accusations and counter accusations would dominate political platforms over the impeachment of county boss. This as a section of political leaders would perceive the impeachment as a political tactic ahead of Kirinyaga's development goal. This as eyes now focus on Kirinyaga succession 2022. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel 1 in the county of Nairobi.